Morn Das, 11th of Sun's Dusk, 4th Era, 203. It's been one year since I traveled to Solnstein and killed Mirak, the first dragonborn. Things have been peaceful since then. Yo, Lucy, Sophie, and I have moved to Ravenrock in Solstheim. Well, things have been alright. The locals are still not very accustomed or accommodating to outsiders, but then again, neither was Skyrim. And speaking of which... I have been summoned back to solitude by Jarl Elisif the Fair. I'm not sure what she needs of me, but it seems urgent. I've decided to make the travel alone this time. I shouldn't be gone more than a few days. And what would my impetuous Thane Bryling suggest instead? Simple. Let the Empire fight its own war, with its own funds, and without hijacking our supplies and soldiers. Let Hathingar rebuild. My lady, surely you're not that naive. Such foolishness would only leave us defenseless. The rebels would storm the palace in an afternoon. The Stormcloaks only rebel because the Empire uses Skyrim as its personal larder. The more they take, the more support the rebels gain. <clears throat> that is quite enough. Perhaps I will raise these issues when I have an audience with General Tullius. I didn't realize we were still dealing with remnants of the Stormcloaks. Apologies for the intrusion. But I've come as you've requested, Jarl Elisif. Tell me, why have you summoned me? There's something personal I was hoping you would do for me. Of course. What can I do for you, my Jarl? Falk told me what you did for us at Wolfskull Cave. He says you're someone we can trust. I would hope so. I know Talos' worship is outlawed in the Empire. When we buried my husband, I made offerings to all the gods, except Talos. I would like you to take an item of his, a war horn handed down from his father, and place it at a shrine of Talos. What? Uh, Elisif, uh, do you worship Talos still? No, but my husband, Torg, would want a proper burial, and this is the way Nords are buried in Skyrim. I see. Well, I would be honored to help you. Please, the horn. Thank you. It would mean a lot to me. Right. I shall return when my job is done. Farewell, Jarl Elisif. Right. So, just north of Whiterun, correct? I hear a dragon in the area. <clears throat> a wolf? Get out of here! You're of no concern to me. <clears throat> Damn it! <clears throat> I was distracted. <clears throat> Sorry. 
But you are a liability. Damn it. I'm waiting on my thumb to recharge. Yeah. Right. No. Come at me! Toba! Yeah. You'd think. <clears throat> After all this time, Odaving and Parthenax would have gotten all of you in line. <clears throat> it seems I was mistaken. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Down to my level now, eh? It's been a while since I've gotten to fight a dragon. Feels refreshing. Almost. Right. Now. Let's deliver this horn. Of peace. I am a monk of kind. This must be the place. I can feel it. The emotion in this place. Many generations of tradition. I'm glad to take part in. Rest now, Torik. May word of this reach you in Sovngarde. An elf? Yeah. Yeah, hold on. I'll help. Hey, wait! What are you? Damn, Thelmore! Yeah! When will you learn? I'm not as easy to kill as my father. Right. Now, let's summon Arvak and make our way back. I'm sure Lady Elisif will be waiting. Come on. Let's go, boy. Eastwards. Yeah! Oh, oh, Arvak. We're here. Right. Yeah. Take a rest now. I'll call you when it's time to go home. Hmm. Looks like my estimate was a little bit off. I'll only be gone for a day. <laughs> come uh, what uh, who are you uh, what do you mean by that I have done all that can be done there is nothing left no quests to be undertaken no villains to be slain no challenges to face except 
for you. You are my last challenge. Only you can send me to Sovngarde with honor. Sovngarde. When you're ready, come find me at my last vigil. Hmm. Right. Well, if it's a warrior's death you wish, then fine. I accept your challenge, Ebony Warrior. Go ahead to your last vigil. I'll meet you once my business here in solitude is done. The guard said she would be sleeping. Feels rude to do this. Is that... Uh, that's one of those stones that Delvin told me about. Well, once a thief, always a thief, I guess. Um, Jarl Elisif. Uh, it's me, Jin. Hello. I'm sorry. I know it's unusual to approach you in your chambers like this, but uh, I wanted to let you know that I placed uh, Torig's horn at the shrine. Falk said I could count on you. You have more than earned the right to purchase property and take the next step to becoming a thane. Speak oh. to Falk when you have the funds, and thank you. I thank you. I'll consider it. Perhaps if things in Ravenrock don't work out. Thank you, my lady. Be well. Pray for solitude and my husband. My prayers are with all of you. Now. I suppose I should rest up before my journey. And so I disembarked from solitude. Traveling southwards towards Dragon's Bridge, where I followed the Karth River Pass towards the throat of the world. My destination was on the far edge of the rift, east of Fort Greenwall and north of Stendar's Beacon. Luckily, with Arvak by my side, the journey should take no more than a few days should I go unhindered. Damn you! Yeah! Yeah! More bandits! Yeah! I didn't even see your trap! Yeah! Shortly after the bandit encampment, I passed through Rorikstead. Though, unfortunately, since it was day, I felt it was unnecessary to stop. Hmm. 
I hear a commotion up ahead, and I smell... Honey. Odd. Hmm. Uh. Hello, what is this? Hey, friend. It's good ah. to see another merry soul enjoying this fine day. Ah, yes, it is quite nice today. Come, share a bottle of hunting brew mead with me. Ah, hunting brew. I would love to share a drink with you, friend. Thank you. Nothing like fine spirits to help raise your... Well, your spirits. Cheers, my friend. Cheers. May your adventures find you fame and fortune. Yes. May the winds of Kinrath guide your steps. Well. I suppose I have some time before I reach the rift. One drink wouldn't hurt, I suppose. Please, I need help. What's that? I think I heard someone shouting. Around this corner? Hello? Who is it? Hello? You! Over here, please, I need help! Uh, please, yes! Do you have a potion you can spare? Uh, Thank Kinnereth for you, stranger. I'd almost given up hope of walking away from here. Are, are you okay? There's so much blood. Are you hurt? Uh, what are you doing out here? We tracked a bear to this den. Good coin for those pelts. We had the big sow cornered when they showed up. Three of them, out of nowhere. Spriggins. Meals My. before we even knew to run. Ari died just inside. I never even thought the things were real. I made Very. a drop or two of blood. Truth is, I'm not going anywhere like this. Uh, hurts to breathe. Don't stress yourself. Uh, here, I have a potion. I just need a little to get going. Here. It's better. Thanks, friend. I wouldn't have lasted much longer without that. Yes, and don't worry. Now what? I can't just walk away. Not with my friend's bodies in there being torn apart by those beasts. Hmm. Well, that potion should have healed your wounds completely. So, if you're with. If you'll let me, I shall help you. You do that for a stranger? I don't know what to say. Lead on, I suppose. It's my pleasure. Now, let's go prepare your friends. They need their funeral rites. First, I'll hit you with this. Should make you stronger for the coming battle. And uh, dragon hide. Right. I think we're ready. Let's move. Well, there's your bear. Spriggan. Yeah. They seem to not be that strong. Perhaps... Yeah. Yeah. Something's disconnected them from their source of energy. I've only seen the one. <laughs> Matron! Kinrath, forgive me! Yeah. For I cut down your children. Vald, are you okay? Be careful, those traps will get your leg. Clean off. Hmm. There's a chest over here. You wish for some of that treasure. But... For now, we need to locate this third Spriggan. There she is! Die! Right. It's done then. Justice, if you can call it that. 
Look, I want you to have this. I know it isn't much, but it's important to me. Ari gave me this dagger when we first started hunting together. I always said it brought her luck. You should be the one to carry it now. I'll give them a proper burial, then head back. Come find me if you're ever in Falkreath. You'll always be welcome at my door. Of course. I'm glad I could be of help. And thank you. I truly do appreciate this gift. By the way, if you take their tap roots, you can sell them for a decent penny at an alchemy shop. I have no need of them, nor the coin, and... Well... Without your hunting partners, I doubt you'll be out in the woods very much. Until... You've had time to recover. Farewell, Vald. May we meet again one day. Sanctuary. Arvak, return. Hello, girl. You must have been so lonely. Can't believe you returned back here. It reminds you of Astrid, doesn't it? I know, I know. Here. Here. Why don't we take you on this journey? And then, I'll see if I can ship you over to Raven Rock with me. Huh? Eh? Uh, that feels much more natural. Vampires! Damn it! I don't have time to put up my mage armor! They've really armored you up, huh? If I had. Dawnbreaker on me. Yeah. You'd be nothing. Yeah. Down, vampire. Shadowmere, are you okay? Damn. This is why I switched to Arvok primarily. Too much danger for just a horse. But I guess you are different than the others. Pure void. Ah. Uh, this gang again. Yeah. How many times are you going to block this road? Before you learn <clears throat> that it will never last. It's nothing. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Just one down. And two more will replace them. It's a never-ending cycle with these bandits. I wish there was something else I could do. 
but I will not stoop to Mirax levels. <laughs> All the days to rain. Up ahead, I smell smoke, perhaps a town, but I don't remember a town in this area, I... Wait. Oh. Helgen. And after all this time, the scars of Alduin's flames have not been <laughs> bandits. Yeah, this is a grave site. Yeah, I will not accept this disrespect. Die, damn you. This is a sacred place, and you desecrate it with your squatting. <sighs> yeah. The rest are around this corner, by the keep. Let's even the playing field a bit. Dragon! Right. Now come out here! And face me, you cowards! Damn. I've got a good mix here. Watch out for that axe. The mage isn't the problem. I'm not afraid of lightning. But... Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. 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 I'm down! Hmm. Perhaps now we'll be able to rebuild here. Should the Empire have the time. I know tensions are still rising with the Thalmor. Damn it. This gate has been closed for far too long. Shalomir! Let us ride! From Helgen I rode through the night. Still in rain, but... The coldness didn't seem to bother me anymore. What? Um... Excuse me, what's going on here? Hello? Uh, Listener, fancy seeing you out here. Babette? Uh, what are you doing? Sure Nazir's cooking is great and all, but my appetites are a little more... discerning. No. You are hunting? I mean, I more meant what are you doing so far from Dawnstar, but... You are out there hunting? You could call it that. Didn't put up much of a fight, but made for a tasty snack. 
a rich bouquet of flavors. I would definitely recommend it. Um... Trust me, I know what it tastes like. Well, you get back safe now. I guess I don't need to say that to you. But... Well... Stay safe. And tell Visara I said hello. Right. Just about through the mountains. If I don't get attacked. Yeah. To the high ground, huh? <clears throat> there. We're oh, safe. Hmm. Yeah. Right. Now. As I was saying, just through the mountain now. Ah, a shack. Hello? Is anyone home? Seems to live in. Hmm. But cold. Nobody's been here for a while. These fire salts there. Ew. Stale. Hmm. Well. I'll take this journal for now. Or else I'll read it some other time. You stand guard out here. I'm going to rest for the night. Hmm. Hopefully Babette doesn't come and get me in my sleep. <laughs> Nothing. Wait, no. I still hear a commotion up ahead. What is that? Magic? Damn. Bear. Yeah. I have bigger things to worry about. Giant. Don't worry. I'm sorry, I was just trying to... We need nothing from outsiders. Yamars will provide for us. What? We cannot carry on this way. You know we are doomed if we do not do something. Yamars charged us with keeping outsiders away from Largisburg. Would you have me disobey him? You were charged with keeping us inside the walls. Have faith, Udo. I only wish the best for our tribe. Fine. It's your neck. Forgive Uglar's harsh words. She's merely doing as she's been told. It's fine. Um, tell me, what's going on here? Please, our tribe suffers, and we need help. Oh. Our chief Yamars was once a strong and proud warrior. Now he is stricken, cursed. Oh no. He is weak, and so our tribe is weak. The giants sense this and intrude on our territory. Now they assault our very home. Yamars refuses help, but I sense that you may be just what we need. Well, I would love to help. What can I do for you? Yamars has demanded we stay inside the walls. We cannot leave. 
I must petition Malakath for relief. This curse must be lifted. But I cannot travel to Malakath's shrine. The ritual must be done here, and I do not have the materials I need. I beg of you, can you bring me troll fat and a daedra heart? I have no wish to depend on a stranger, but I have no choice. Of course. No worries. I will return. Please hurry. We are counting on you. Well, the daedra heart I already have, but I'll need to go collect some yeah, troll fat. A tube. I've returned. I will stay right here and wait for you to bring me what I need. Well, wait no longer. Before we begin, tell me more about your people. We have lived in Skyrim since before the Nords came. Our way is simple. All work to make the tribe strong. Only the bravest are allowed to lead and to marry. A great chief is able to attract many wives and raise bold children. I see. Wise women like myself are mothers of chieftains. We guide the tribe and advise our kin on what is most pleasing to Malakath. I see. So in essence, truly you are the most important. Tell me more about Malakath. Is um one of the princes, yes? You do not know of Malakath? He is the keeper of oaths, the master of curses. He is quick to anger and slow to forgive. One who wrongs Malakath is one who will endure great torment in return. He demands loyalty and strength from his orcs. We have tried to please him, but he is now angry with us, and so we suffer. I see. <clears throat> How have you displeased him? He's a god of might and strength, yet your armor and weapons are very impressive. It is said that an orc first learns to wield a hammer in her mother's womb. By tradition, a mother always teaches her children how to smith. If a chief has a second wife, she is called the forge wife in honor of this. See. So it's really the women who keep you all afloat. Fascinating. But I digress. Here, I have the objects you need. Excellent. Now, you must come with me. You become a part of this. You must be present for the ritual. <clears throat> of course. Thought I'd enter an orc stronghold. Wonderful opportunity. Where is... Oh. Oh, you're going inside. Sorry. It is time, Mars. You bring an outsider here. call on Malakath for help when he has clearly forsaken me. You try my patience, Atub. Doing nothing will not grant our tribe relief from this curse. We must try. Uh, fine. Let's get this over with. Sorry. Where are you, Chief Yamars? Let us pray this works. Now we begin the ritual. Great Malakath, we beseech you, aid us in our time of need. Why are we bothering with this? You pathetic weakling! What's that? Malakath has heard my pleas. He speaks to us. You dare summon me, Yamars? What? What is this? You don't deserve to call yourself an orc. You're weak. You're small. 
And you're an embarrassment. You let giants, giants, overrun my shrine. Bring me their leader's club as an offering, and I might release you from this curse. So it will be. Malakath has spoken, Yamaz. Your path is clear. Very well. You, outsider, come here. I want a word. Oh, of course. This is all your fault, you know. <laughs> what? I'm stuck fighting a giant now, thanks to you. So you're going to help me. You're going with me, and you're going to make sure I don't have any trouble reaching that giant. Don't worry, I'll make it worth your while. Well. <clears throat> I mean, it seems that that was the only way to break your curse even before now. So, of course, now it's been communicated to you. I'm only your messenger, but... Whatever. What do you want me to do? This giant. <clears throat> it's not the only thing in Fallowstone Cave. Getting to it isn't going to be easy. I see. You're going to clear a path to the giant so I can conserve my strength. I'll make sure you're paid for it. So you meet me at Fallowstone Cave, and I'll get this over with. I could have my tribe back, and you can... You can leave us alone. Hmm. Well, honestly... This is understandable. So how far is this cave? Um <clears throat> Right. Not much of a talker, are you? Just over the water? You're mine. Yeah. Oh well, must have run off. Uh yes, to oblivion. <laughs> Day. Luckily, it seems this cave is on the way to my destination, so after this, I should be able to continue onwards. You won't have to take me back to your camp. Don't worry. <clears throat> I know you don't. Well, not that you don't like outsiders, but I understand why you wouldn't trust them. We're only a couple of miles from my last vigil. Who would have thought I'd have a companion for the last leg of my journey? As stoic as you are. And luckily, there haven't been too many threats on the way. can pacify it. I can't call upon Kine when dealing with Daedra. The bear attacks will kill it. Ah, I can smell the mammoth fat from here and... Blood. Right. So, this is the place then. If there's a chance this will save me, then I'm taking it. Good. I'll lead the way, but you'd better back me up. Do Let's not worry. This over with. I have your back. Hold. Before we continue, Yamars, allow me 
to get us both ready. Unless we have nothing to fear yet. Well, down we go. Almost there. Good. Yeah. It's like that giant's distracted by the bear. Built a whole camp down here. Ugh, quite a big bonfire for a cave. With ventilation that it does have, I guess. <laughs> giant! Get ready, you Mars. This is not your home. Be gone, giant. Yeah. Sovereign God, find you. Right. Onwards. Let's go take out their leader. Or bears. Yeah. Never should have come here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh well, must have run off. In earth, forgive me. Hold. Let me get into this chest first. Just some boots and a shield. Nothing of worth. Or so. Yamars! Damn it, where did he go? Sorry. Very untalkative. Hey. Well, we've made it. All right. Is this the spot, Yamars? You Your shrine? Kill this giant. Unless, of course, you'd like to make some extra gold. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm tired. I haven't slept well in weeks. You kill the giant. Bring me the hammer. We go back to Lagerspur. I tell everyone I did it. You keep your mouth shut, and I pay you. Handsomely. I'm sorry, Yamars, but is this, this, is your curse to bear. You are the chief. I cannot do this for you. Go. Find your honor once more. Fine. Then wait here. This should only take a second. Might as well help slightly. I'll show you what a real 
well, perhaps Yamars may have this. The giant doesn't kill him. Seems more afraid of him than anything. Oh! Oh my. Oh my! Oh jeez! It took him out in one shot! I wasn't ready for this. Damn. I'm sorry, this is life or death! Yamaris was a fool. Always trying to scheme his way out of responsibility. Alakath. Well, the giants took care of him. And you took care of the giants. Two problems solved at once. Now, take Shagro's hammer back to Largishburg, and we'll see about whipping the rest of them into shape. Well, seems I have no choice. One more day. Third night. Right. Let's hope they don't shoot on sight when they see I don't have the Yamars with me. Still dealing with those giants' corpses. Hello! I'm back. The guards will take care of the bear. Now it's up to take care of this. A tub. The ways of the mystic are known to me. I have remedies and cures, should you need them. Over here! Yeah. The gate is closed! Now, that the distraction is out of the way, a tub. May we speak? We have learned from our mistakes. Malakath's needs come first, and we will serve him faithfully. I've returned with Shagro's hammer. But what of your Mars? I see. He did not survive. He... He died well. He fought bravely. The giant, it overwhelmed him. I'm sorry. Ah, that is good to hear then. Yamaris was a coward and a weakling. His deceitful ways have cost you all greatly. So he has been punished. And what of us? What fate shall we suffer? You'll have to prove yourselves, but I'm willing to give you a chance. Gullerzo's in charge now. Let's hope he's a better chief. You place that hammer on the shrine. You're the only one who's proven worthy in all of this. I see. Well... Goes. Hi. Ah. Atub. May your weapons be sharp. 
and your prey fresh. But do you know? All right then. Nothing. In figure dwelling through my body already. But no. Malekith, I am sorry. But I shall leave your gift in the hands of Lagishbur. May it grant strength to his people. Now, I think I've delayed fate long enough. Off to last vigil. To do battle. Ebony Knight. Go slow. Rocky terrain here, Shadowmere. There. Hagraven dealing with a Spriggan. Let's ignore it. We're almost there. Come on. There. Arrive. Stay down there, girl. Do not follow. Right. First, let's prepare ourselves. Dragon's flesh. And now, his skin. I have come, Ebony Warrior. Now, prepare for your fate and fight well. Yeah, <coughs> perhaps. Yeah. <coughs> the Thum. You are a practitioner of the Thum? Yeah. A worthy, you are a worthy adversary, then. The only other I've encountered who could do such a feat <coughs> was Ulfric Stormcloak, and well, best not to speak ill of dead kings. <coughs> Disarmed me. Where? Where did it go? Damn it! Well, at least I have Blood Skull on my side. There! As you wish! You can't beat me. That's what you think. Now. I think I have a regeneration potion. Let's go. Not 
happens. What do you think? Now, taste the power of the northern winds. Yeah. Come on. I've done it. Rest well, Ebony Warrior. May you dine well in the Hall of Champions. Pinareth, Arke, Talos, Shor, guide this warrior. For he was honorable, life, and in death. I should return to Solstein. It's time for me to rest, too. <laughs>